A note on Alexis Zorba. Zorba the Greek, Alexis Zorba, as written by Nikos Kazantzakis, uh, and so extraordinarily uh, adapted for the big screen uh, in a film with uh, the dazzling uh, Anthony Quinn as Zorba, and Alan Bates. Uh, in a good uh, supporting role, or was it still a lead role? Uh, um, a, a, a fabulous story of a man with zest, with joie, joie de vivre, potolește-te, and with access to the Holy Grail, Nirvana, and everything else. Even if, uh, come to think of it, there's a clash between. Uh, the West and the East, not as much here, but in my mind thinking about this, because this is a man, I mentioned Nirvana, then I. Uh, this is a man who uh, is, uh, I think, the epitome of vivra form, living intensely, living, living with joys for, with the joy of food, of eating, of making love. The opposite of what perhaps wrongly I would call the Eastern uh, philosophy, the, the Eastern um, uh, paradigm, uh, wherein Nirvana, the state of ultimate bliss, of final achievement, means having no desire for anything, which is the opposite of, of uh, Zorba. Zorba is the uh, ultimate uh, passionate man. He desires women with ferocity, not, not, not in the wrong sense. He's not uh, ferocious uh, in, in violent terms, in trying to grab them, even if that may not be past him, if it's necessary. But otherwise, he respects women, he loves them dearly and deeply. He is uh, an, an admirer. He thinks strongly in uh, Das Ebi Weibliche, as, as the end of Paul's Goethe would have it. The eternal feminine will take us to the extreme heights. That's a, a, a translation I heard, but I don't know if Das Ewig has so much in it. German, which I don't know, but I heard it again, that is so complex and has so much meaning in, in just a word, Übermensch, uh, it's probably another that um, uh, it might be. And Zorba doesn't think of Das Ewig Weibliche, of Goethe, he probably never heard of, of this. He's an uneducated man, but in, in terms of reading and literature, uh, but he is uh, a, really a wise man for all his mistakes and failures uh, in, because of his experience. He's, he's traveled a lot, he's suffered so much and seen suffering, and even if he fails in terms of even honest yet sometimes he's going and spending the money of his uh, boss uh, whom he keeps calling boss um, with no qualms he, he's going with women and so on and he is uh, for some for a religious conservative from the deep south of America for instance now um, the antichrist maybe. he's not Trump after all He's not grabbing women by the pussy, I guess, uh, as the Donald does, uh, according to his own uh, boasting, but locker room. So, Zorba is extraordinary. One thing I remember to end with this rather jocular part, uh, he even thinks of a cure when he's, he's, he's in love, addicted to something and he doesn't like it, he wants to oppose this, this uh, lack of strength, 
uh, he has a cure. Uh, he mentions that he, he loved Cherry so much that he thought this, is, this has to end because he's too dependent on them. Whenever he sees them, he has to eat. And so what he did, perhaps that's one way I can lose more weight, which I need. Um, he ate so much cherries that he became sick. That was the idea. So he ate and on and on and on in order to have uh, um, distaste for them, to, to, be, to become nose, uh, nose, nose eating, <laughs> uh, to create nausea. And uh, so he, he, it worked. He, he, he never touched my cherry after that because he had so much that he wouldn't have anymore.